to the Lord in prayer. Most gracious Father, we thank you, God, for this service. Thank you, God, for your anointing, God. Thank you for your glory, God. Thank you, God, for the last night of this revival, God. We ask to move in a mighty special way, God. Send every hither and spirit out the door in the name of Jesus. Say you have no power, but God, we give you praise right now, God. Lord, let me, Lord, speak to me like never before, God. Lord, and touch your people, God. Set somebody free. Heal somebody, God. Deliver somebody in this place, God. Move in a special way, God. Move to out of the way, God. You do the teaching and the preaching right now, Father. Father, let there be a shift in the atmosphere, God. Thank you for the last night. Thank you, God, for the one that came to the altar, God. God, we just give you praise. We give you glory, and we give you honor, God. We lift you up and we magnify you. We give you all the praise. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I so pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I mean, if you have your Bibles, we're just going to make the loop. We're going to go with the loop the 15th chapter. Amen. And what you got to say, man. Amen. First of all, I would like to give it a God for being here to Minister Smith again. Thank you for inviting me. The great pastor of this house, Mr. Israel. Y'all can put the pastor of the my hand and then. And then to my very own father, this is over the living. Y'all can put the great woman of God in hand. Come on, y'all can do better than that, man. Amen. I'm the first lady in this house. And it's good to have my church family, my family. It's good to see my mom, my dad back there, my uncle, my granddad. Y'all can put Mr. James Mitchell in hand. Amen. Amen. I'm so proud to have him with me. Thank you to my own family. And as to Brother Jarvis and Jamaica, they took care of me well this week. And we want to thank y'all for coming. Amen. I hope you enjoyed the service. I hope it encouraged you some kind of way. And we're going to start at the 11th verse. Amen. If you got to say amen. Then he said, A certain man had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of good that falls to me. So he divided to them his living hood. And not many days after the younger son gathered together, journeyed to a far country, and there went to his possessions with prodigal living. But when he had spent all, there arose a severe famine in the land, and he began to be in war. Then he went and joined himself into a citizen of the country, and he sent them into a his field to feed swine. And he would gladly have filled his stomach with pounds that the swine ate, and no one gave them any. But when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's higher servants have bread enough and to spare and perish with hunger? I will rise to go to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your higher, higher servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when, when he was still a great far off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight, and I am no longer, no longer worthy to be called your son. You may see it in the presence of the Lord. Amen. We're going to use for a thought or a son tonight. Daddy, can I come back home? Touch your neighbor and say, Daddy, can I come back home? Come on, y'all can say it a little louder. Y'all can have the church here loosen up. Tell somebody, say, Daddy, Daddy can, I come can I come back home? Back home. Now, that's an unusual title or something that you want to call it for me. Amen. <laughs> Amen. God gave me that this morning, but this afternoon, to sit right there in that chair. Daddy. Can I come back home? Amen. Uh, everybody should know this story. Amen. We're going to preach and teach it the way God wants us to teach it. Amen. There was a certain man who had two sons. And the young of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of thy good that you have. So he divided to them 
his livelihood. And not many days after, the young people gathered all together to a far country. Can I get a witness? I believe right here in this word, in this scripture, the older son, he was going to, he wanted to do the will of God. Can I get a witness? He wanted to save his money and do the right thing. But now we're going back to a younger boy, a younger boy that didn't sound mature. Can I get a witness? He took all his money that he had and went to a far country, far off, far away, away from here. Can I get a witness? And parted all night long. Am I right about it? He parted. He had parted. Went to the club. He had drunk a little bit. Had smoked a little bit. He had did everything that we do in our life. Am I right? Sometimes he probably felt like he should have been home, but it wasn't his time yet. Can I get a witness? See, when you're in the arms of Jesus, when you're in the arms of God, we might get far off and forget who we're supposed to be serving. Can I get a witness in here? We serve a God that heals and sees every trouble, everything that we're going through in our lives. See, in this word, I believe he asked his father. He, he got hungry and he saw the people eating. He wanted to taste what the people were eating, but they would not let them taste the food. Can I get a witness? Sir? See, in our lives, we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And we have done wrong in our life. But how many know that we have a forgiven God? God forgive us 70 times 70. Can I get a witness? Sir? We do things that we know that we're not supposed to do. Uh, in our lives, we walk up and we, we try to stay on the shadow fence. And we try to stay in the middle of the road. But sometimes we stray away. Yes, we do. Uh, can I talk to you sometimes? Uh, see, being a young person, sometimes we walk away from our life. Uh, we walk away from our calling. We, we forget what God has brought us from. Am I right? Uh, we forget the things that God has taught us. Uh, he taught us in his word just to live right. Uh, he taught us in his word just to follow his command. Uh, sometimes we try to get too far off uh, and realize that it's trying to come back home. Uh, we do wrong in our life uh, and we wonder why things are going wrong. Uh, but God said that I'll never leave you. Uh, no that I forsake you. Uh, am I right about it? Uh, I came to say that the Lord will forgive everything that you have done. See, this young man probably came to himself while he was far off. He said, Father, I want to come back home. I believe he told his daddy that I have done wrong and I feel those things. I even pour it all night long. Even drunk a little bit, smoke a little cigarette. Can I get a witness? I mean, you know, sometimes in our life, we go beyond what we're supposed to do. But I come to tell you that daddy will forgive you. If it is hard on a little while longer, don't get too far gone. Because times get hard. You will have to come in your life. There will be some times in your life where you have to find out. You have to learn right from wrong. Can I preach to you a little while? Sometimes we wonder and we look and say, Lord, I don't know which way to turn. I don't know whether I should go to my left or whether I should go to my right. Sometimes we pray too hard, but the point in time is over. Should I get a witness in here? It's time to live right for Jesus. It's time to be in His will. Not in your way. We already told you that he is the way, the truth and the life. No man coming to the Father except by me. I mean, that it's Father's day. When we do wrong, we got to go on our knees and say, Lord Jesus, I have seen. I wish I had a witness in here. I have seen. I've done wrong. I was up there in the world. I cussed people out. I'm just using examples. I cussed people out. 
in the field and he came and drew near the house. He heard music and dancing. So he called one of the seven to ask what this meant. And he said, Since your brother has come and because we have received him safe and sound, your father has killed a cow. But he was so angry, the guy got angry. Because this was a good was a good son. Can I get a witness? This was a uh, son that didn't do no wrong, but he, he knew that his brother was going to come back home eventually. I believe his father was so excited that he cooked him some food and had him some music and they, they did everything they, that they could to make this young man back home. They welcomed him back home with love. They welcomed him back home with care. They welcomed him back home with peace. Can I get a witness? They were glad that his son didn't die, but yet he lived. Sometimes in our life, we have to go through in order to get to. We have to go through worldly things, but we know we got to stay prayed up. We got to keep on praying in the midnight hour. But I want you to know that there is somebody that's looking down on you. There is somebody who sees your trouble. There is somebody who hears your cry. He knows your pain. He feels everything. Can I get a witness? We sometimes fail to realize that God still cares. And we want to go and do things on our own. But we got to learn to stay in the house sometimes. When God says, stay home, it's time to stay home. Am I right about it? He got to get our attention. Have you ever been at home? And God doesn't wake you up. Three or four o'clock in the morning. Can I get in a witness? We get down on our knees. That's the best time to get down on your knees. And you begin to seek those things that God has for you. Because if you have a calling all your life, if you have an anointing all your life, you realize that sometimes you're not supposed to do what everybody else do. Sometimes we want to get out and go have a little fun. Yes, we do. Sometimes we want to get out and go drinking. We want to do a little smoking sometimes. But I came to tell you tonight, that's not what God has planned for you. Because God has a destiny for you and I. Am I right about it? Something that was the name of to come back home. You might be hurting your life. You may be troubling your mind. Can we go in and just around? You may have cried all night long, but I, I came to tell you, go heal, take care of you. It does not matter what it may look like. It doesn't matter how you feel. Hold on. A little while longer. Something that was there. Hold on. Feels a do. Get help and silence too. Having a hard time with life. But my God said, I'll never leave you. Don't forsake you. So somebody said, He won't leave me. Y'all by myself. Even when you're out there in the world, you know that God is covering you. He will stop trying. I look at my father here. My father had some things in his life. He felt like he was supposed to go straight. I'm not putting his business out there. 